All just right. did. Oh, oh God, with my new keyboard, it actually pulls up a separate window for shit like uh, NumLock and Caps Lock and all that shit, so it actually kind of clicked me out of the game for a second there. Oops. Oops. Mm. But, um... Yeah, it's, it's a good day to record. I've got a fever and don't feel well, and people have headaches, and we're all tired. So it's a great day for recording. Yes. I didn't have a headache till I started talking to you, Jay. Yeah, well, that's my magic. Oh my god! It's like XV knows what it's like to be me. <laughs> Welcome to my horrifying world. Thankfully, there are still important differences. Yes. All right. Thankful for you me. You live not in Tennessee. For, not thankful for Jay. Jay should be so lucky. Uh. <laughs> well, I just dropped a diamond hoe. Enjoy it while it orbits you. <laughs> <laughs> No, we've got it. That's right. That should make a diamond sword. Screw iron. I uh forget Norway. Apparently, that's not like the best thing to say when you're playing with a couple Norwegians and they haven't seen the Kenya Flash video. Yeah. Oh. Well, in all fairness, Norwegians are adorable. Uh. The right way to make that. What they are. I mean, they don't have anything against them. But, you know, I'm just saying they're like, you know, kittens or something. What? What? Norwegians are like kittens. Explain. Well, they're soft and fuzzy and they're, they have whiskers. I think you're thinking of Mikotes. No, no, I'm pretty sure I'm thinking of Norwegians here because they're real. See, that's what's important. It's important. What the fuck are you on? Right now I'm on fever. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Expect an interesting session. Uh, that's got to be a pretty good fever. I, I just... It's one of those fevers that's high enough that I feel hot. We uh, can make molten iron. That's neat. How? With iron and lava. Oh, and someone explained to me how you actually go about taming the space kitties. It's a shame we don't have any more. Oh. How do you tame Space Kitty? Uh, you have to give them enough space that they feel like they're free. So you need a 7x7 seven seven pen. And you can tame them with fish, just like regular kitties. The problem is we were using a 4x4 four four pen. So, didn't work. Alright, I'm gonna do something with these chickens. Something evil. Oh, Chicken-based evil. Chicken-based evil is delicious evil. Well, yes. Especially if it's fried evil. Mmm. Uh, evil. You're having a talk at D&D &D today about evil. I was like, you know, like the, evil qu the question is, you're holding a baby. What do you do? It's not your baby. It's not your baby. Where'd the water go? Uh, it's, oh, it's over here now. Yeah, and, uh, no, well, you blah. No, that's not evil. Or, you know, well, you blah. Well, that's kind of evil. It depends on what type of evil you're going for. Well, my suggestion was you eat it. Well, my, me and our friend Maya's was you raise it to be your unquestioningly loyal minion. Hmm. And Although, like, that, that's a considerable investment of time. Yeah, that's the problem. Well, that's yeah. assuming you have a long-term evil goal. Also, generations of parents will tell you good luck with that. Well, that's yeah. the thing. It all depends on, you know... It all depends on what spells you have available for you. Yeah. yeah. It's easy to condition someone to be unwavering, unwaveringly loyal when you have magic. God oh, damn it. yes. Magic. I just was climbing up the waterfall and flung my pickaxe down. <laughs> Stop it. That. Uh, but yeah, if you're using magic, that's different. And I, well, let's just say you're chaotic evil. Oh, well, then you just feed the baby to its uh, to its parents. Because yep. you're evil. Why the fuck not? Uh, I've got a lovely bunch of keys. It's also, you know, my evil actions are why people stopped allowing me to play evil. Right. I really need to run an evil campaign. Yeah. I mean, there was the time I blew the entire party up in order to make a point to a prisoner. Did anybody else hear that meteor? 
Of course. I didn't. Okay. I heard my explosions. That was not your explosions. Oh, well, I didn't hear the mirror. It's mirror. I didn't mirror. hear the either. Or the mirror. I didn't more hear the, the mirror. More the meteor. But I heard the explosions. Mm, okay, I'm far away is why I asked, so. Uh, I s- might see it on the map. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go have a little walk. I prefer my space rocks to be meteor. Oh, Jay, you forgot to put the uh, login message back on here. That's why I don't have any entities radar, I think. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, D.Y. Angel punched me. Um, when did I punch you? Then yeah. someone attacked me. Uh, oh, what yeah, there's lots of zombies up here, so that's why. <laughs> I thought that you had just punched me down the cliff for the meteor joke. No, I'm nowhere near you. I don't even know where the fuck you are. I'm in the pit full of eggs and zombies. Yeah, I don't even know where that is. I'm still clearing ground. This is directly out the front door. I'm still clearing ground and making this world a better place. Okay, okay. Stop hitting me. We're near you. We just had this discussion. You're hitting me with your brain. I heard another There one. was a meteor. There was uh-huh. definitely a meteor. Um, but I think the meteor's being a little esoteric. Um... I don't think you're using that word properly. No, you're just being esoteric. Uh, I thought it was transcendent. Or transcendent, yeah. Uh huh. I'm going to start hitting you now. I don't know when I'll stop. Uh, hmm, Enderman. Uh, I need a new. I should murder. I need a new brain today. Actually, I need a new brain every day, but still. You could have a brain for each day of the week. That'd be awesome. They would finally feel rested enough. This is my Monday brain. It hates Mondays. Yes. And this is the brain I only take out on Sundays. Which would be, you know, any brain I used on Sunday. Oh, I'm trying to think of... Splody. Splody. And, wait, no, that's not what I'm trying to think of. Aren't we all? Well, there's... This chicken chandelier certainly produces a lot of eggs. Well, that's something. I mean, if we ever need eggs, it'll be great, but we don't, so... It's... Are you sure? Well, I mean, I can't... You have even... Hubert. Yeah, well, I can build an automatic chickenator at some point, but... I'll have to... I make... might die out here. Oh, my. That's okay. We won't miss you. I know. Well, in all fairness, no one misses a... Or, you know, no one misses XV when he dies. Mm. Well, no, that's not true. Otherwise, I'm sure somebody act- somewhere does. Otherwise, who would come along and fix the things I've built? Uh, or at least OCD over them until they, you know, are much simpler and less complex and convoluted. And work? And I keep flinging my pickaxe down the waterfall <laughs> as I try and climb it. God damn it. Stop it. That and their chickens pooping their young on me from orbit. It happens. It does. Yay, I got your goo. Yay. No. Ah, God damn it! My precious goo? The water pushed me back down the waterfall. Oh, poor thing. I'm pretty sure there's an Enderman chasing me and hitting me in my back as I stop to eat so I don't keep losing health. Well. <laughs> fuck that's you. That's the way the cookie crumbles. But helpfully, I'm making this everyone else's problem because I just got home with it. Oh, well, that's good. Bitch, I'm in game. I hear her screaming under me. Yeah, oh, yeah, he is raping you a little bit there. So, oh, well, you're in water down there, so you're safe. <laughs> since I'm the only one paying attention to the plot, uh-huh. I have noticed there is an inordinate, inordinate amount of implied rape in Final Fantasy uh, 14. Okay. Because there's like this one quest where you're in an area and there are some people harassing this group of. Other people, and a girl runs in, and her character model looks fine, because they didn't bother to make different character models. Uh-huh. And everybody's, like, freaking out, and it's like, they they did things to me, blah, 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 blah. It's like, okay, yeah, rape, whatever. And then later on, you know, you meet another character, and he talks about the fact that, you know, he was basically put in a concentration camp with his mother and his sister, and he was forced to work in labor camps. And they were forced to do things that were much worse. It's like, all right, Squinix, rape is not a plot device. Stop it. Seriously. 
Well, it can be, but you over you or they are overusing the hell out of it. Yeah. If you, it's something at this point that you use once to drive home the point that someone is really fucking evil. Because societally, people are very touchy about that sort of thing these days. With valid reason, of course. But, you know, it, yeah, it's a, yes, we get it. They're evil. You know, you can stop it now. We uh. figured that, you know, the evil empire was evil by the fact that they're going around and killing everything, and they're like the Nazis and the Romans had a horrible love child. We figured that out by the tactics you described that they used. Yes, please stop it and move on. Actually, I'm pretty sure part of the ship has disappeared here. No, no, that's what it looked like, because I was taking it down last time. Okay, because I, I remember there being stuff under the chests the last time I looked at it, but... Uh, maybe it did. It was the floaty blocks. We were having some problems. But only before. half of them disappeared. So, that's probably because the chunk right on the edge is by spawn. Ah. Uh. So, I'll bet it loads... Because I think it loads spawn and the chunks around spawn. So, it probably loaded just enough to take out part of the ship. Yeah, because there are torches floating in the air. Yeah, so it probably loaded most of the area, but not quite. Yeah, a lot of, it won't update other chunks until afterwards. Let's see. There's a lot of... Okay. I have no idea why the mods disappeared from the folder. I have not touched this since the last time we recorded. Maybe I should run some defrag on my hard drive or an air checking. Though, I noticed at least so far, now that I have the better graphics card, I have yet to see any major lag spikes, which I was seeing before, even early in recording. Let me turn up the sound a tiny bit. Not down, up. Easy to get those mixed up. I still need to send you the old graphics card that works perfectly fine, not the one that sort of works not all the time. Important uh, distinction. A little bit. Uh, I had a plan earlier. I was like, when we record, I'll blah. It's probably You're doing something a... to surprise slash grief XV. Uh, I'm, I'm blahing fairly well, but... Yeah. I'm also derping to the best of my ability. Um... The hell am I gonna do? Well, if I can find more monster spawners, help me landscape. Well, if you want to find, mo well, no, we can't now because there's no entities right there. I was gonna say go take a walk out in the desert, and, yeah, or surrounding area. You'll find them eventually. Oh, yeah. But no, somebody didn't enable uh, entities radar. Well, obviously that's because I hate you. Well. Yes. Uh, uh, it's because I. I don't know what the hell happened to it. I, well, if we want to take a break, we have that enabled on spawner block, right? Uh, it should be. And I can just, if we want to take like a five second break, I can copy it over and restart the server. Okay. Doing something. All right. Well, I'm going to stop. We're recording right now. Woo yep, there we go. Yay. There, that was almost painless. We back. Yay. All right. Jay, let's go. Spawner quest. Yeah, yeah. let's go find the spawners. I've got. My... Oh, you know what you should do though. What? Before we go, make uh, airship parts. Yeah, so that's a good. Oh, I actually have airship parts on me. Oh, okay. That way we can transport it. Yeah, because as long as you know, we can find one, it'll be awesome and fluffy and full of tiny, tiny badgers. Kitties. So Kitty tell me about your character's boobs. <laughs> I love your segues. <laughs> so, Squenix made the accident, or maybe they did it on purpose, of adding a bus, a bus size slider. Um, I'm playing a Reorganin, which are the tallest, largest characters in the game. I turn my bus slider all the way up because, lol, boobies. Because I'm an adult. Of course. 
Jiggle physics are active, so watching me run or jump is amazing. But more to the point, my character's boobs are bigger than, like, human, not even, like,